All right, well, before we get started, of course, Ticket King, if you're looking to uh, head out to the draft, if you're looking to go in any Packers games or whatever, got to check out, pick, uh, not Picket King, Ticket King, lowest ticket prices, and they are a Wisconsin-based company, big-time Packer fans, obviously, so there's no better place to buy them. Um, we got some news. This is from a couple days ago, but deal with it. Um, this is from WBAY.com, Emily Beyer and Emily Riley. Officials select tentative location for the NFL draft stage. So I thought we'd look at it. I'm not super familiar with Green Bay. I've been there a couple times. Um, it's funny, I mentioned Clayton, who has the other, uh, is another host on the podcast. You may uh, be aware of his YouTube channel. He's, he's more familiar with Green Bay than I am, and he's out of state, and I'm a couple hours away. But either way, I wanted to kind of look at this. So essentially... The way that I guess this is going to work, we've got um, Lambeau Field is right here. Apparently, the draft location is scheduled to be on or east of Oneida Street right here. Now, when I first saw that, I thought, okay, well, the speculation has always been the Resch Center, that that's where it's going to be. It's going to be inside the Resch Center. And you can see it. It makes sense. It's a big center. I'll turn this down a little bit because I watched this video already and it's blasting loud. But... If you look at it, I mean, you could see a, a, a thing being hosted there. It already looks like a, a draft thing. But the problem with it, a couple problems. Number one, it's all enclosed, so you have to be inside. Otherwise, you're outside just wandering around like an idiot, and you're probably wandering kind of farther away. This is all um, title town along here. But if you actually look at what they say, it's on or... Uh, just alongside the east side of Oneida Street, facing the northeast corner uh, in their largest parking lot. So essentially, you would have the draft stage along here, and then you would have this be sort of the big area to hang out. And, and when I saw it, I kind of thought, like, I mean, is that the best we can do? I, I don't know why. I just kind of imagined there being things closer by. There's, there's nothing over here. You got residential... You've got the Rush Expo, which nobody has any interest in. I mean, you're, everybody kind of just has to cram into this little square area here. Um, supposedly 250,000 people. Obviously, some of them will be walking around. But my issue is I figure people will be walking around over here and kind of doing stuff. You can't see anything because Lambeau Field's in the way. Um, so nobody's going to be over there. So everything needs to be really crammed in this corner. I mean, you can't be over here. You can't be over here. You can't be on this side because, you know, you're over here. You have to be right here to be able to see the stage. Um, but as I was looking around, I don't know of a better alternative. I really don't. I really thought this would have been the best spot because, and we'll take a look at the street view. If you could have Lambeau Field as the backdrop, you put the stage right here you can see it from Lodge Kohler. You can see maybe a little bit from Krolls, which is a popular spot. Tavern in the Sky. You've got the uh, the Sledding Hill right here. You'd be able to see the stage from the Sledding Hill. You could you know pump in the audio. You could have the 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 playground. Um, you got Hinterland Brewery. Even maybe the football field to be able to see at least kind of far away, kind of what's going on. I thought this would be a fantastic spot. Um, a little bit less open space, which could be tricky. I mean, you, you couldn't really just put a ton of people there, which is probably the first problem. But then if you look at Street View, um, it gets even worse. So this is where all the fun would be. I mean, you can kind of cram some people in here. Um, you'd have trees in the way and whatnot. But if you look this way, you have these freaking street posts in the way. Like, who wants that? I mean, it would be awesome. You get the stage like right here. You got the old, old glory fly in there. You got... Uh, scooch this way a little bit um come on move move it move it this way a little bit you can see the lambeau field entry right here you know you put the stage i thought that would be great to have green bay's lambeau field backdrop but there's nowhere to stand you know what i mean so this wouldn't really work and i mean if you look anywhere else where else are you going to go you go in this corner you got a restaurant and residential all down here is residential um this is a uh, disastrous thing and everything up north is all residential this is the only real option unless we're going to a completely different part of the city this is kind of it um and again you can go inside the rush center which i don't like because you should be able to see it from outside or this is it so 
Um, this is not officially official. I guess it's it's subject subject to change, but I can't really see, you know, and, and again, you could, I don't know, some people speculated inside a Lambo. Obviously, that would be kind of cool if you could get in there. But, you know, everybody outside can't see anything and, and whatnot. So I, I just, I, I really do think this is the best possible option. But again, it kind of sucks because this is isolated from all the stuff to do, which is kind of on the other side and you can't see from the other side. Um, not to say they can't put up things here, you know, you can have obviously food and, and events set up or whatever, but not too much because there's not that much room to begin with. You know, again, they're talking 250,000 people attending. Let's say there's 100,000 people. Are you going to cram 100,000 people in this little area here? And maybe they can clear this out. I don't know, you know, if you'd be able to see from over here. I don't know what they, it says Lambeau Field Lot 1. I don't know if this is cleared out so that maybe you could extend it. Um, and maybe the stage would be kind of this. It says it's facing this, um, but if you kind of center the stage a little bit more, make it a little bit bigger, you could kind of call this whole area. That would be a little bit better, but I don't know. I guess I've never really looked at it to, to see where would the best spot be. Again, I would love it if we could have been over here, but I don't think there's enough space for people to be, number one. I mean, this would have to be kind of a cleared out area. Um Number two, you got trees and crap and buildings, and, and then you've got just utilities and stuff in the way, which is, you know, you can't expect the city to come rip that out and do something different just for the draft. So I don't know of a better alternative, honestly. I think that probably is the best thing to do. And it's, you know, it's going to be kind of an all-day deal. So I, you can kind of hang out, see the Packers pick or whatever, and then kind of book it and go do some different stuff. And, you know, I don't know. Everything else is going to be completely... Um, whatever, but I mean, there's going to be tailgating and all that. I mean, it's classic Packers stuff. So I'm sure these, these lots are all going to be full of people, um, with food and beer and everything. So it'll be a good time. But, um, I don't know. I just, I saw that and I was like, really, this is, this is the draft, this little square right here. Okay. Fair enough. But those are the plans. So, uh, I guess plan accordingly and get ready to stand right about there for a very, very long time. Again, check out Ticket King. Thanks for, uh, hanging out and I'll talk to you later.